Hello Pisces and welcome to your July 2018 mid-month check-in. This is for Pisces and July 2018 for Pisces. Whoops. If this resonates with you Pisces, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. If this does not resonate with you, Please check your moon rising and your Venus sign. This is for Pisces. Alright, if you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Pisces. This is for Pisces. Okay. Okay, Pisces, so this is not going to resonate um, for all of you. Uh, there's big changes here, okay? This is the universe clearing out obstacles, okay? Things that don't serve you. What wasn't built on a stable foundation is coming, tumbling down. The tower is here, okay? Changes are coming. That is at the bottom of the deck, the situation is um, an ending. So it's like you have found something out that um, really shook the relationship to the core. And one of you is thinking about ending it. Big time betrayal, a lot of pain here. Okay, stabbed in the back, clearly. All right. Someone's very hurt in this situation. The tower has fallen. Big changes are coming. All right. Ten of swords, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The challenge here is um, you being strong through this. Leo energy. You finding the strength to get through this tower moment. To be able to make the decision to... Um, stay or to go, but the betrayal is there, Pisces, okay? So, um, the challenge is you, you know, holding back. The challenge is you, maybe, you know, you're not holding back. You know, I feel like this is, um, same with Aquarius in the last three. I think this is um, you being very angry, okay? And trying to, you know, you got to try to tame that. A lot of emotions, you got to, you know, be able to get yourself in check here and be very strong and create courageous through this tower moment because it really caught you off guard here, okay? Your advice is to embrace this Queen of Swords energy, now, the Queen of Swords is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, if it's this is a person, male or female, could be a single parent, uh, very intellectual, thinks with their head, not their heart. They put emotions aside, okay? Uh, as an energy... You need, the advice is to embrace this, get clarity in the situation, communicate truthfully and honest and honestly. The Queen of Swords cuts through the bullshit. The Queen of Swords is very strong and determined, okay? So this is your advice, all right? What you're focused on is being happy. This is one of the happiest cards in the tarot deck. You just want to be happy, right? You could be focusing on drinking a little too much right now because of the experiences that you're going through with this tower moment, okay? That could also be on the table here. Uh, you're focused on still, you know, putting in all your wishes and hopes into this situation, but I don't know. 
I feel like, you know, some of you out there are drinking and you need to clear your mind here and you really need to stand strong and um, get through this and get clarity in this situation. All right. And uh, your focus, you just you truly just want to be happy in this situation. That's all you really wanted. You really was hoping that every this situation was going to work out. But, you know. Something really sh shook, shook this relationship to its core. The outcome here is the lovers. Okay, so this is a strong connection here, Gemini energy. However, after all is said and done, there is going to have to be a decision made in this situation. Could be a decision on whether to stay or go. After somebody has shook up your world like this and um, has hurt you so badly. Or somebody may have to decide between two people. Okay. We have an ace of pentacles. So this is, I feel like the decision is going to be to... Um, Somebody's going to either offer you a brand new stable beginning after all of this is said and done, or you're going to offer someone else a stable new beginning after all of this is said and done and the decision is made. Do you see that? So this is a very good card. Okay. It's like the decision is going to be in your favor. Ace of Pentacles. Um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it's like the universe stepped in, shook you up, shook this relationship up to clear away all the nonsense, all the bullshit, so that these new beginnings can happen, okay? It's a very painful process. And what this is telling you is, you know, you have to be strong, through this, you have to cut through the bullshit. You have to embrace that Queen of Swords energy. You got to get to the point um, and be very strong and determined, okay? Because the universe is here. The tower is here, but it is for your greater good, okay? And all you really want is to be happy. So this boils down to a decision, and it's going to be... A beautiful decision here okay this is a long lasting new beginning stable grounded earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn this is uh, a windfall a gift a gift from the divine I mean do you see that hand sticking out like that this is really nice Pisces this is really nice I mean you went through hell to get this right but here it is Okay, this is for Pisces. We're going to pull some romance angels here to see what else we can get for you. Mid-month check-in for Pisces. What is going on for Pisces? Oops, for mid-month check-in for Pisces. For Pisces, yeah. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And if that is not the, the story of this whole mini read here, right? The universe is here clearing out obstacles. Have faith that the universe, God, Jesus, whoever, whatever, all of the above, the angels, they know what is best for you. They're clearing out the bullshit to get you where you really want to be. All right, Pisces. And at the bottom of the deck, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I feel like this betrayal, this big shakeup is going to be forgiven. You're going to be very strong and determined through this. And everything is going to work out beautifully. All right. So this is most definitely for your best interest. What has happened here, 
this is the shakeup is getting you to where you want to be in this relationship. Pisces. It's a pretty wild read. If you would like um, a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. Um, I'll be getting out the dailies all week. Keep an eye out for those. Love Loves Through Loss on Friday. And then next week, I uh, will be spying on the X, okay? So um, stay strong. Stay determined. You've got this. And you take very good care of yourself. Have a great rest of the week. And God bless.